Good morning, everyone. It is actually midnight at the time I'm recording this video. It's the end of my day, Sunday. It's been a long, productive day, nonetheless, just doing loads of check-ins and uh, programs. That's usually how I spend my Sunday. My step count was incredibly low today. Um, I just literally just went out after doing all the check-ins for a quick walk. Um, but uh, I'm definitely gonna have to make up for it uh, with some extra steps tomorrow. So I took my check-in video this morning. We're just gonna have a look at it now together. The conditions of the lighting and the space are a bit different than usual. I thought I'd be able to record it in the garden every week, but, but that obviously couldn't be the case uh, today. It was just raining outside and it was also quite dark. I had to use artificial lighting to actually be able to see anything. Nonetheless, it's quite obvious to me that I was looking fuller uh, this morning. I'm also 400 grams heavier than I was last week, uh, which is expected from the increase of the carbs. So in that sense, it's all going uh, according to the plan. I definitely think I could be looking tighter and overall tidier at this body weight, but the lack of sleep, which we're gonna be talking about in a minute, definitely contributed to raising my cortisol and making me look more watery than I could be at this body weight. Nutrition-wise, we pretty much ticked all the boxes uh, this week. There was only one day that I slightly under ate, but I made up for it uh, the following day. So considering the increase of the weight this week, I'm not going to bring the calories up this following week. Training-wise, there was definitely an increase of the strength uh, throughout the first few sessions of the week, but the major deviation to the plan uh, this whole week was just the amount of sleep that I got. Definitely a lot lower than usual and um, my physiological state definitely suffers from that. I definitely felt it the most in yesterday's session. Uh, if you watched the leg, uh, the leg session then you know there was um, a slight regression from the, the previous week, mostly on the major compound lift. So that's definitely something that I'm looking to prioritize more this week. It's just recovery and the amount of sleep overall. I'm also looking at moving a couple of things in my split at the moment, mostly because Saturday is an extremely busy day for me. And at the moment it's the main leg day that I have for the week. Um, I don't think I necessarily need to do overall more volume for my legs, but I would definitely like to increase the frequency. So what I decided to do is to add an extra exercise for my quads on my hamstring day. So it's now going to be two exercises for hamstrings, an exercise, an extra exercise for my quads, which is going to be a leg press. I'll take you through all of that when we film our session on Tuesday. And then the usual extra two exercises for my back. I also decided that it's time for me to increase the volume, some of the muscle groups and some of the exercises, especially as my shoulder is feeling a lot better and I'm slowly increasing the calories, I should be able to tolerate more volume given that I actually sleep enough. I'm going to pick some of the complementary exercises. Uh, it's often going to be machines or just compound lifts that are not too taxing for the central nervous system. So that it's going to be easier to handle the increase of volume. Generally, I'm fairly happy with how this week went, mostly because I picked up a bit of extra work and in general I've been definitely busier than I usually am, uh, but I've, I've definitely been better at organizing my time and being productive with literally every single minute of my day. Yes, my sleep definitely suffered, but this week things should be a bit more stable and I should be able to catch up on that. I always say this to my clients, sleep is like a superpower. It literally enhances your physical and your mental state and emotional as well, to be honest. And it's fairly subjective how much sleep you need as an individual. Some people need a bit less sleep than others, but this also depends on where you're at in your mess cycle, how much volume you're doing with training, and just in general, how much you tolerate fatigue. There's also a degree of tiredness that is perceived mentally as opposed to physically. But for me this week, I didn't feel mentally tired. I, just, I mostly just felt physically tired. And since everything we do has an accumulative effect, it just progressively got worse towards the end of the week. I was debating whether I needed a deload week of, or not, but it's quite obvious to me that I just need a, a bit of extra sleep. Having to vlog every day has been an interesting experiment. 
and the support that you guys have given me has been amazing so far. With that being said, if there's any particular topic that you would like me to discuss in my videos or talk about, and it doesn't have to be training related, it could be nutrition or mindset, feel free to comment below and to let me know. Thank you so much again for being here. If it's the first time watching one of my videos, I'm posting one vlog a day for an entire year. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.